friends denizens of the internet hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of silent hill for the room i am devo lost time gaming we're jumping back into the shoes of our main man henry and uh we're back in our apartment and i don't think there's anything haunted here today let's just take a quick walk around just to find out but i think we're all all good oh except for the uh the spirit of the little creepy boy standing in the bedroom. We haven't dealt with him yet. And I don't think we have any means to right now. What we have to do is we've got to go back into crazy land and get... We have to walk Eileen through the escalator of doom and then do something with a train car because we have a like a train handle for the one of the engine rooms on the trains. And um, that's the easy part. The not easy part is getting Eileen through the escalator of doom. And when I was looking up what to do last episode, um, the little bit on this guide that I read about, you know, you have to take Eileen down the escalator, is you have to... It suggests timing up your charge to swings to stun the escalator people. Yeah. Which that, that might as well take three weeks to charge and activate or to shoot them and uh i'm sorry we we wasted a full six magnum rounds on nothing essentially and i i cannot justify the other six and we're out of bullets so yeah what what we're gonna do is we're gonna give this a try and uh hopefully we're just gonna pull it off in a single attempt that would be great uh now come on henry what's more likely going to happen is uh, we're going to die repeatedly because I don't know, I don't know how much life um, Eileen has. I assume it's not a lot. You know what I mean? <laughs> Wait a second. We have to. Oh crap! Now I just forgot what the heck we were doing in the first place. That's right. We have to go back through the evil staircase of doom, which should be this way. No, I've. <laughs> My sense of direction about this game has just been destroyed. Because the Escalator of Doom is the King Street line. Wait. Where am I right now? How did I get here? Because, hold on. You know what? Um, let me collect my thoughts because I'm really okay, confused so right if now. I'm remembering this correctly, and I don't know if I am, we have to go back up the steps and through the other way. And I think I just came down here as a quick method to save it. Though I'm not even sure about that, really. Because what we need to do is to get into one of the train cars. But to do that, we have to come in from the... Basically the not correct side. Because Eileen can't... Eileen can't use her hand to climb a ladder. I feel like she could probably get away with, you know... Not holding her purse in one hand, and you know, because you, it's it's extremely unsafe, and you can't like do it. You can't do it in like a professional setting, but well, come on, I really? I used to live in North Ashfield. Well, that's great. I used the subway all the time when I was younger. <laughs> that's that's great. That's that's a great weight off my mind. Why why can't I use this now? I thought I could use this before. What's going on here? No, nah. mm -hmm. no. There we go. It's just, like, very specific about where we got to use that. But we just need to go over here and go down this way. Ah, there we go. Man, can't believe the the size of the brain fart I had trying to remember this. It's just, uh, a lot's happened in a week since I recorded the last few episodes, I guess. All right, so we're on the King Street Line section now. And that's the... That's the escalator of doom there. And if I recall, there's nothing else to be done in this entire area. Because I'm pretty sure there, if there was, there's some dogs on the other side of the fence, and we got what was down there, so now we just need to... We just need to go down here. This is gonna suck. And I really hope it's not gonna suck. And that I'm just, you know, Oh, you're blowing things out of proportion, blah, blah, blah. But, uh, I reckon, uh, it is. Yep. Stick your head out of the wall. I'll hit you with an axe. Here we go. Charging it up. Boom! Wow, that worked. That worked, Henry. Way to go. I think that... 
I think we got this. I think I think this might just work. As long as we time this properly, everything's gonna be just fine. It does raise the question that I was touched upon before about how much life does Eileen have? It can't be a lot, you know? And... Wow, Henry, you, you look like you actually know what you're doing when you do that. That's crazy. And... Ah, there you go. <laughs> wow. This is this is something else. I feel like it's it's easier on the way down. I don't I don't know why and I couldn't tell you why. But it seems like the timing just works out perfectly for it to attack once or twice and then just give it the old wind up and axe to the back of the dome. That's that's quite nice. Wait, did we make it already? Is that it? Wow. Oh no, I think I hear one on this side. I, I'm pretty sure it can't go through the chain link, so I'm just waiting to see an opening here. There's, there we go. That's it of the protection. Come on, you want to go? Is that some writing there? It looks like writing, but I'm too busy charging up this axe match. I wish charge moves in video games had, like, no end table to their charge. Like, we just sat there charging it for, like, two days, and you, like, go the button, it, like, destroys the entire universe. <laughs> That would be awesome. Yeah. This is a... This is... There we go. Hey, how you doing there? Hey. And... Ah, there you go. No, Henry, that's bad. There we go. Just, yep, just c c c combo. There you go. Henry, wow. This is... This is the most viable Henry's combat ability has been the entire game. Look at, look at it poised, so ready. Ready to strike like a coiled cobra. <laughs> Who's on Valium and totally indifferent to everything. <laughs> because that's that's Henry's other traits. He's, he's capable of wielding small weapons. And he's also totally just checked out of everything. Oh, we made it. The first try. Amazing. Simply amazing. All right, so now what we're doing... Oh, I forgot uh, in the editing in the last video. I forgot we missed this. Take the nutrition drink. Yes. All right, so what we need to do now is we need to... I think we need to get on one of these trains on the bottom. Because I think... I, no, I'm red, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. No, no I'm blue. Okay, so we need to get on one of these trains and uh slap a handle in there i, I, I don't i don't know <laughs> jesus eileen don't freak me out like that it's like <gasps> like no no everything's everything's all right it's just henry i know he's a little scary but come on now no 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 and no and how about no and there we go okay let's boogie eileen come on i know you're like you know I know, Eileen, I get it. You see me slow walking. You see me slow walking. Ignore the golf club. It's a trap. Alright, wow, we pulled that off. Oh, holy crap, that was loud. The car moved about one car length. It's not moving anymore. Well that's great. Awesome. Uh Eileen, the uh the ghost. The ghost is back, Eileen. Eileen, we should probably. Eileen, can we ooh? Finally, we get a free one of these. I'll take this. Yes. Nope. <laughs> the ghost was like, hey, can I come along? Can I join y'all? Oh, sweet. We pulled it off, pulled it off. Uh-oh. Cinemax getting all artsy. That doesn't bode well. Oh, crap. Is that Walter? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's Walter. Oh, and he's... gone? That's weird. <laughs> he's just gone. It's like, correct me if I'm wrong, but there was a... a creepy guy... dressed all in black pointing at us at the cutscene, right? Oh, there's blood on the floor now. I don't think the blood was there... uh, last time. Also, it looks like there's corpses, too. That... those were also not there. 
last time. Oh, we've got a little, uh, we've got a little shadow box display of corpses. That's corpses. That's nice. I like that. Slow walk it just to make sure Eileen's coming. Come on, Eileen. Well, we got the look at Eileen camera action here. Come on. Don't mind the corpses. Back in the hole. This I this didn't work out well for us last time, but I say we have no choice here. Also, I guess I should stop and look at the description for that sword we picked up. It sounds amazing, but it's actually garbage. <laughs> Back to the comfort of our lovely apartment. Don't mind the evil child spirit in the closet. Oh, it creeps me out. Get away from it. I hate that. I hate that so much, and I can't tell you why. Not like it's a secret. I just, I don't know why it disturbs me the way it does. All right, let's see. Anything weird going on in here? Anything weird at all? Don't mind the crashed fan. It's always been that way. Right? Right. I think we're all good. Nothing seems to be out of whack here. Let's check the creep hole just for old time's sake. Yeah, that's that's still really creepy. <laughs> that, that has not stopped being creepy, for the record. But considering the, the ease of progress we made in that last section I thought was going to be impossible, we're going to save it. Oh, we've hit max number of saves. <laughs> Back up to the top. All right. I don't think I've ever hit max number of saves in a PS2 game before. That's cool. How's things going on outside? Let's take a look. How is it out here? All nice and lovely? Yeah, mostly. Bunch of weirdos just staring out their windows. Which I am now a weirdo, I suppose. Nothing creepy going on here. Yeah, I think we're all good. <laughs> Just one last fist bump on there before we move on. Let's check out the uh, the actual people before we, I guess, go back into the laundry room hole. Good, still nothing because everyone's dead. Great. There was a bit that I loved from West of Loathing. In the one cave, you're uh, you're pretending to be a cultist, so like you don these cultist robes and a mask, and then you you can like hide from them and kind of talk your way out of situations, or you can just kill them all. And there's one part in the cave where like you could choose to hide in a closet, and then it tells you a little about about what you're doing while hiding in the closet, which is nothing. And then it says you remember that there are no cultists left to hide from because you killed them all. That's that's what's going on out front there. Anyway, back in the hole of doom. Wonder uh wonder if Eileen's still gonna be tagging along. I'm kinda kinda curious. Oh, Eileen, uh, uh This is just horrible. What this area? I know, right? It's messed up. Why, uh, why did we come back here? We, we, we weren't supposed to come back here. What? Hmm. Well, you know what? Let's... I know, I know it, it takes forever to get back and forth through the hole, but I forgot I wanted to dump a few things off. Let's head back to the room real fast. And then drop some stuff off in the inventory chest. And then... Profit? I don't... I don't, I don't think we'll be profiting. Oh, yeah, the creepy boy spirit in the closet. Ugh. Really? Whoa, he's gone. Yes. Awesome. That is that is joyous news. You have no idea how better that makes me feel. Although now I'm worried something's gone wrong in the living room. All right, this is the bedroom window. Looking all clear. It's weird how much much more we can see from this window, but still nothing of any merit. I thought I saw something on the floor again. Checking to make sure. Alright, fingers crossed, nothing went wrong out here. 
I was kind of wondering if if things would be messed up so long that it would actually just fix itself after a while. But I guess everything's all good. Sounds 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 like a win to me, I guess. No, we need look at this. What does this say? Extremely rare sword. When used against down ghosts, it stops them in place. When pulled out, the ghost is revived. What it doesn't tell you there is that uh, the sound the ghosts make after you pin them to the ground is gross. <laughs> they don't they don't tell you that part. All right. So I think we've we're carrying everything we need to be carrying. We've got nothing of any real use or value here. And how's our life? You know what? Might as well just there we go. All right, now we're all good. Um, no, I won't save it again. Hopefully, we we haven't really died much. Honestly, I don't think we've died at all. If I think about it, maybe once in the beginning, but I might be misremembering that from one of the other times I played this game. So I'm gonna head back in the hole, and since going through the hole that in the weird, creepy, downward spiral, cloudy room. Didn't do anything. I guess we're just going to keep heading down and see what that does. Because this did something the last time we went into this hole. It didn't this time. Come on, Eileen. Get a move on with your horribly maimed self. Wow, that just switches. I don't even have to hold that. Oh, what? hold on. Y'all see that on the, on the side of the screen there? Big giant bug. Just the biggest bug ever. Gross. It's all squishy. Oh, there's a door here. I don't think this was here last time. It's unlocked. Uh-oh. You ready, Eileen? Into the brave unknown, I guess. I, d I don't like the unknown in Silent Hill games. It's never good and often horrific. It's not even like, yeah, it's not too bad this time. Like, no, no. It's usually the worst thing ever. So what are we doing here now? And we're on, like, the far end of this, yeah. So... So what about that? I guess... Oh. Everything's all faded out, like we have to re-inspect it all again. Okay. And is this door just here now? Yeah, that just leads back to the crazy place. Can I read these yet? There's some weird writing here. No, I cannot read that. Okay. Oh, that's bugs. Alright, well... Heck, a combo. Back down the hole with you. I don't. Grave has been dug here on the bottom of the coffin. The numbers one 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 two one. Cool. That's great. I don't. Uh, I don't see that help. How that helps us, but good. There's a cliff on the other side of this fence. Can't go any further. All right. So the only things we really couldn't do when we were here last time. Which is what I assume what's going on in these kind of backtracking areas. Is, um... There was the area by the lake that had a... What was that? There was a really hard base bump there. There was an area by the lake that had, like, a path we could go, but we never did. Ooh, yeah, nutrition drink. Heck yeah. It's great! Just calmly walk past these, see if they notice. No! What? Wait, is that the trick with the... Ugh. Is that the trick with, like, the dog creatures is just calmly walk past them and they ignore you? <laughs> Come on, it can't be that true. That cannot be true. Holy crap, it is true. Wow. I'm totally on board with that, because I hate trying to fight those things. They have like horrific, weird anteater tongues, and ugh, they just just creep me out. Oh, the house is gone because we burnt it to the ground last time we were here. Well, I mean, Harry or Henry didn't. Uh, I can read this writing. It looks like some kind of a diary. What? Here goes. What? October fifteenth. Bob is gone. Nobody will tell me what happened. I bet. Ugh. I can't read any more than that. Uh, Eileen, why can you read that? It's not even in a language that's discernible. Well, 
I guess calling Henry a normal person's a bit of a stretch. But he's not like a... I guess he is kind of a weirdo. There's a note on the ground. Something's here, but nothing's here. I feel something from the well. Something's missing. It has begun. Jasper. Okay. You put Jasper's burned memo in your scrapbook. Alright, well, thank you for giving us a single hint, I guess, to what we're doing here. Something about a well. Take the holy candle. Yes. We can use that to exercise more stuff if we have to. A charred doll's body is sitting in the wheelchair. There's a message carved into it. Though my body be destroyed, I will not let you pass here. To prepare for the receiver of wisdom, I cut my body into five pieces and hid them in the darkness. When my body is once again whole, the path to below will be opened. If you are the receiver of wisdom, you will understand my words. The ritual has begun. All right, well, clearly I'm not the receiver of wisdom because I got no idea what he's talking about. Apart from we need five doll pieces assembled back here. It's the part after that I didn't understand what the heck he was talking about. All right, so now we have a goal. You can't see my finger quotes, but I did them. We have a goal of getting five body parts, which raises a point of concern because, as you can see... There's four wings to this area, and we were past one already and collected nothing. Uh, there might, there was a well there, so maybe there was one in there, but we'll never know until I go back there. I guess I'm gonna have to like recheck that area. No, I thought maybe I can get through here, but no, it's it's a the wood. There's all kinds of wood here. At least this area has plenty of holes to go back and save, should things get dicey, but you know, hopefully they won't. Hopefully they will not. But, oh man, it's a, uh, oh no, 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 I hate you so much. Come here. Step right up, step right up. Oh, oh, oh that did work. Sweet. Stomp it. Yes. Maybe stomp it again. No? Okay, good. Oh, there's another one off in the distance. It's just pointing at us. Could this be... Silent Hill Woods? Wait, I thought we were still, we're like on the wrong side of the lake for it to be Silent Hill. Come here, I got a little something for you. Just standing there pointing at me, it might be the creepiest thing I've ever seen. And ka -cha! Man, the axe, oh, you were not dead, okay. Okay, all right, just, you were like the creepiest creature I've ever seen in anything ever. Oh, I, I squashed something. You don't have a lower body, so clearly not the gooch. It's too dark to see. Eileen, can you magically see down there? Eileen? Eileen, can you? All right, I thought maybe since you could read the writing, you can like see in the dark all of a sudden, but I guess not. That's fine. Nutrition drink, heck yeah. Although now I'm kind of worried we're running out of uh, inventory space. We gotta be thorough in these sections to make sure we don't miss anything. Because again, we're looking for doll pieces. Uh, I really don't like that. Was that bullets? Yes. Yes, bullets. My, my very good friend. Mommy. Eileen? Can you not ask weird questions like that? I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Like, everybody... Everybody is already highly suspect in this entire universe. What is that? What were these pipes used for? No, no, I'm talking about this. Every time I look at it, it creeps me out more. Take the pickaxe. What? Pickaxe of despair. Ordinary pickaxe from a construction site. Despair is written on the handle. Very powerful. What? Oh, look at this thing! This thing's a beast. Hold on. Let's charge up, see what Henry's full range of motion is here. Oh, it takes so long to charge up. Ah. <laughs> Henry, what's the regular attack? Okay, that's... That takes forever. 
Andrew, that probably does a lot of damage, but like... All right, we need to use one of these. That probably does a lot of damage, but oh man, the the windup is way, way too long. For for reference here, let's see regular attack from Henry. That was just one tap of the X button at the beginning of his animation there. All right, let's see similar from the index. So that's like, that's like less than a full second. All right, let's switch over to the pickaxe. That's... That's bordering on four seconds. Even with a massive damage increase, that's... I, I feel like that's a liability. That's... That's gonna hurt us more than it's gonna help us. Oh, there's creepy stuff for you to read here, Eileen. I remember there being creepy writing that you could read here. What is this? Revolver bullets, too. Wow. Although now we're, our, we're, we're out of item space now, so... Hopefully we didn't need anything here. Oh, there's a hole. Sweet. Wait, what? Oh, oh, hi, little kid. Are you Walter Sullivan? That's what everybody calls me, but I don't really have a name or a home either. Well, what about a mom or dad? Yeah, but I never met him. They left South Ashfield Heights right after I was born. But soon I'll get to see my mom. Do you know where she is now? Yeah, of course. Right where I was born. Lots of people tried to stop me. But it's fine now. It says in the scriptures that I'll be with her. I gotta hurry. Mom's waiting. Eileen, did you not have anything to add to that situation, or... No? I like how we're just taking a really close look at this thing. <laughs> Alright, no. Eileen, can you read this? Eileen? Here goes. February 10th. I went to visit Ashfield again. Again, I... Something... something... Mommy. Some of it's blurred and I can't read past there. Well, thank you very much, Eileen. That was very insightful. Very helpful to our situation. Not as helpful as us returning to the apartment to offload some unnecessary inventory, namely the pickaxe of doom. And, uh... Or, I'm sorry, the pickaxe of despair. And some of our extra health and... Let's see, we could probably get rid of the Sword of the Obedience. We're not going to need that here. Probably won't need it ever, to be honest with you. Ah, thankfully, my bedroom remains unhaunted. That is... that is the best news. How unhaunted is the rest of the apartment? Well, it looks okay. I don't see evil shoes in the kitchen. Oh, we got another note. Oh, boy. Is it just me or these chairs out of place? I could have sworn they were like more pushed in, but maybe that's just me being paranoid. And there's, the, you know what the, I wanted to say, and I lost my train of thought, was when uh, that little kid was talking, it, the, you gotta, there's something to be said about Silent Hill's ability to write just disturbing dialogue. Not like you know, shock and awe, like, you know, ripping out people's intestines or anything, but just regular sounding stuff that sounds horrific. We you know we're going to dump the revolver stuff too, because we don't need that for right now. Or the candle, that's something for here. Got the axe bullets. You know what? I think we're going to take another nutrition drink. Just to be on the safe side. That way we got, we got five open slots, pretty much. And it's good to know we have this pickaxe of despair, but I like how what sick person took a pickaxe and like carved despair into the handle. <laughs> I mean, that's awesome, but like, uh, I've been working in the mines too long kind of deal. <laughs> All right, so let's let's read this note and then we'll pop a save. That sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. There's a red paper stuck in here. My theory is that Walter never died at the prison. 
It may have been someone else who committed suicide. Either that, or the person the police arrested was not the real Walter Sullivan. I'm in no position to investigate what really happened at the prison, but in any case, Walter didn't die at the prison. The man with the coat that showed up here was the real Walter. Seven years ago, he did something in that apartment. I'm certain there's a link between that and the bizarre things that have been happening here. Just a little bit more and I'll have this whole thing figured out. I may even find that the real Walter is somewhere nearby. July 18th. See, like that, like, it's not, it's not overt, but like, oh man, that is unsettling. You know what I mean? That whole little diary was unsettling there. Okay, everybody's still dead. That's good. And that kind of bodes credence to like, you know, that kind of chips away one of the armor of mystery, I guess you should say, about the story surrounding Walter is that he was never really dead to begin with. Somebody else just died or was killed by him or, you know, what have you to, uh, you know, to, I don't know, <laughs> profit. Again, uh, what's step three? Profit? Has to be. Either way, that's all the time I have for this episode. We made good progress today. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.